Welcome to Ibadan, the capital of Oyo State and the largest city in Nigeria by geographical size. Some people call Ibadan the city of brown roofs. However, the first television station in Africa, known as NT, was built in Ibadan. And Ibadan is also the home of Nigeria's first university, the University of Ibadan. Also, the first skyscraper in Nigeria, known as Koko House, is located in Ibadan. The city of Ibadan is a major Nigerian transport route with highway links to other cities in the south, west, east, and north of Nigeria. And public transportation is one of the major sources of income for Ibadan dwellers. We should go on to one into transportation. We are one. We can one. Lots of school. So understand. So he said, "Oh, just we are one. Daily something. Daily one. Marry income." The modes of transportation in Ibadan include cabs, taxis, taxi vans known as Danfo, scooters known as Okada, and commercial tricycles known as Kekemarua. Only Jokada, only the moto, only the marua. So in Ibadan, transportation, but I ninety percent are on shin. Even I want any other business, no one going to transport. Trading is another source of income for many residents of Ibadan. The traders in Ibadan operate through hawking, open kiosks, markets, and supermarkets. Food is a major commodity sold by traders in Ibadan, and some of the most popular markets in Ibadan are Bojeja Market, Oje Market, Akwete Market, and Ojaoba. Bojeja Market is a popular open air market located in Bojeja, Ibadan. The market was established in October 1987. Bodija is the main market for food in, in Ibadan. So I can say it's moving very well, but not as usual. Probably because we are in the beginning of the year. So last month and this month says has not been very good like it was in December, November, October. But this is Bodija and is a food market for all your states. This market draw in thousands of buyers daily. And the prices of goods in Ibadan markets are also considered quite cheap by many, unlike some markets in other Nigerian states like Lagos. But why are goods considered cheaper in Ibadan? Well, if you look at Ibadan, things are relatively cheap in Ibadan compared to Lagos. So if you're buying anything in Ibadan, even if you look at the cost of living too, the cost of living is, high, is, is higher at Lagos than in Ibadan. And if you look at the way people earn wages in Ibadan, people earn lower wages in Ibadan than Lagos State. So when you're buying things in or your state and you're buying at Lagos State, you should expect that things should be cheaper in Ibadan than in Lagos State. You can find good food and delicacies while driving down or taking a walk down the streets of Ibadan. Fast foods are sold in restaurants like Chicken Republic, KFC, Domino's, and Tantalizers. However, the local meals unique to people living in Ibadan are sold in canteens and local joints called Buka. Some of the locally made foods you can try out in Ibadan are Lafu, Amala, Eba, and Fufu, with soups like Begiri, Ewedu, Ila, and Eforulo. Lafu is the food loved the most by Ibadan indigenes. And it is usually preferred with locally made soups like Begulani Wedu. And the choice of meat could be goat or cow meat. Ah, I don't like it. Badan. Onje badan. Ah, I'm going to put it on. 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 i another common way by which people make money. Food sellers, caterers and chefs make decent amounts of money on a day-to-day -day basis. So, when next you are going on a tour, consider visiting Ibadan. You're sure to find rich culture, arts, and history still very much in vogue in this city. Ibadan is safe and very affordable to live in. And even better, 
The people living in Ibadan are welcoming and friendly. Welcome to Ibadan. Thank you.